and I'm Martin, and today we're going to do another great guide to show you guys how to uh, use a uh, SimScan AZ mount to use it uh, when you use the Stellarium program. Now, Stellarium program is basically an online uh, planisphere, and what it does is it shows you all the stars, the planets, and basically you can navigate using this star map which is up to date right, as the sky is watching at the moment so obviously we've uh, seen scan is that um, what Stereo will do is you allow it to connect it to the computer uh, on the seen scan controller and what that does is you can uh, use uh, still area program basically to click on the star or planet you want to view or deep zone sky object and basically you're using the computer to tell the sim scan to slew to that object. It's a pretty, pretty, pretty cool device it is and it works quite well. Um, one thing I found out is that it's really easy to use this program. Particularly if you're one of the guys who don't know uh, a name star, you don't know what you're looking at, um, still there will, will show you what you can look at with your scope and obviously it will go to the scope you want to use it and you can find stuff easily. Uh, this um, program can also be used on EQ mounts but I will show that how to set it so that it will work on the EQ uh, SimScan mount. Now the reason why I'm saying that you use Stellarium on other mounts but you've got to make sure which mount will, if it works or not. Now I know that Celestial and, and all the Skywatches, Sky uh, SimScan uh, go to mounts work quite well with Stellarium. The equipment you're going to use, you're going to need a laptop, right? um, and you're going to also have your mount and telescope ready, equipped with your skin SimScan controller. All right. Also, you're going to need uh, this device. This is usually this is actually supplied with the uh, SinScan AZ. It also is supplied with the SinScan uh, EQ mounts. All right. Basically, it's, it's an old uh, serial port that connection. All right, and it basically goes into a six pin. All right. This is what you're going to need uh, to connect uh, the mount to the uh, to the computer also because the uh, because of this port here is quite old you're going to need a, a serial to USB adapter which is one of these all right this is the other end all right that's, that's the male end and this is the USB now unfortunately this doesn't come with the um, uh, SimScan uh, mount, alright, you're going to have to purchase one of these for yourself, but it only costs probably maybe six or seven pounds at the most, alright, get yourself a good quality one, you usually find you get the drivers with it, but most of them now usually come with a pre-installed software, so basically you just plug it into the laptop and it just does the software for you, alright, and basically what that's going to do is going to connect into uh, um, your existing serial port um, computer and basically just attaches like so. Alright, and that's basically what that does now. That is now your uh, computer. Basically, plug the USB like so, alright, onto your computer, and then you feed this cable across, alright and you can you connect it underneath uh, the handset basically from the handset you're going to use this port here where you're going to connect connect your lead into there okay connect it till it clicks okay that's that connected to that Right, before you start connecting the, the lead to uh, the laptop onto your mount, the first thing you need to do is make sure that you do your, uh, your star alignment first. 
basically you start start your mount, do your two star or three star or brighty star alignment, right? And basically go through the process. Once you've aligned your two, st once you align your stars, all right. Uh, basically, uh, leave the power on, all right. Because then what you're going to do is you're going to go down here and connect your serial port adapter. Okay, the one. I'm on my laptop and I'm going to show you how to connect your Stellarium. Now, basically what you're going to do is you're going to download Stellarium and you click on there. Now, at the moment it's during the day, so what we're going to do is we're going to go down the bottom and we're going to, uh, because it's, it's daytime, we're going to darken the sky so you can see the, uh, the constellations and, and the sky. Okay, so that's basically darken that. Then what you're going to do is, is you're going to go into this menu uh, and select configuration window. So you click on that and what you're trying to do is go across the configuration, click on plugins, you then go down to telescope control, all right, and at this bottom here you have the options, you have a tick box there, load up, start up and configure. So you press this button here to configure and then what it does is that you can uh, configure uh, your telescope. So basically what we do is go into uh, add, you click add, telescope control by um, Stellarium, so basically you're going to select this button here, Stellarium directly from a serial port, you're going to name the telescope, it depends on how you want to name it, All right, I'm going to name it as I'm going to name it as, uh, as Skywatcher 127mm Maxitov. Um, you can actually have a delay thing, but I, I don't really like that, so I just look down to about the point 0.20. Um, I set the coordinate system to J2000 as a default. Alright. Uh, I select on start and connect start up. Now, the serial port is you need to check on your serial port. Now, I will show you that uh, how to find your serial port. Um, to find this is that if you go into your startup, uh, you go into control panel, from here you go to hardware and sound, and basically you look at view devices and printers. This will give you what sort of devices is connected to what. And here is my, if you look at unspecified, there is my, here is my USB to serial uh, COM port adapter. And you can see here COM15. Alright, that will tell you the exact COM port. Now, it is top tip. Um, try and keep the exact same USB port that you're going to use when you start uh, using the computer and you can use the telescope at the night sky. All right, so make sure you use the same USB port. Otherwise, what will happen is if you disconnect it and connect it to another COM port, it will take a while to update the software and then you have to do all the settings again. So try and keep to the same COM port that you're using for your USB to your port uh, lead. Now what I do is I select uh, COM15 because that's basically uh, the serial port I'm using. The device model, I select this bar and I just go and highlight uh, Skywatcher SynScan AZ to go to, that is the amount I'm using. Okay, 
and basically I click OK my uh, setup now so basically I'm going to click start and I'll be able to control the telescope now via my computer so we we'll minimize them now you should scroll down right that's basically uh, at the moment I'm on Pleiades and you can see this um, this is the uh, where the telescope is actually looking at in the sky and it's really cool actually what you can do now is that's what we're looking at all right and say like I want to go to uh, Orion Nebula so I go into Orion Nebula and then what I do is I hold that press control and one and now what's happening now that my telescope will now slew to M42 Okay, it will go back, it will reset itself, and it will slow into M42. And there you go. Um, pretty cool, really. Uh, fantastic um, function. Alright, and the reason why I'm, like to, I'm now like to use the computer is that I'll be able to fire things easily now because I've got uh, an opti I basically got the exact up-to-date uh, star chart and whatever object I can look at I don't have to fiddle around with the scene scan handset if I want to view something all right yeah you know, I can just if I want to look at something you know so the moon for example I look at the moon again I just press control and one press control one and then the telescope will now slew. And there you go. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Now as you can see, that that is a pretty cool um, pretty cool mod to do. Alright? And it's so easy, it's just by a click of a button, is that if you want to view something straight away, all you gotta do is press control and one. Alright? And whatever object you're viewing or what you want to view, alright, the computer the computer will just guide the, the mount directly, effortlessly, and so easy. And even on the computer screen you can see now where um, the telescope now slew into uh, the Bodies Nebula M81. Okay, all right. Just shows you how easy it is. One thing I have noticed that using this device, it makes pinpoint accuracy spot on using this method. Um, but, however, star alignment is still very, very crucial. All right, regarding. Um, so obviously make sure you get your star alignment spot on, alright, making sure you get it aligned. Because what will happen is you might think the computer the computer thinks that you're viewing that object. It might not be spot on. So obviously if you, you slide it out on an object, always press the escape twice to realign and get the, the object in uh, the centre of view of the scope. So the only the computer only basically knows so much to a certain degree. However, tracking and go to go to abilities are, are greatly enhanced using this method, and it makes life just that little bit easier for for all you guys who want to observe or photo astral photography. Now you can still use this uh, system whilst it's running. But ideally, if you're using astrophotography and you're going to use it for, you can use your CCD to power for the computer, and then you use this device then uh, and other things as well, like your gyroscope. 
uh, you're basically going to be running three software programs at once. You know, your capture program, your auto guide program, and your Solari program. So ideally, you're looking at a powerful computer to, to be able to hack this. Now, ideally, look for something that's over two gigahertz uh, laptop. All right, enough processing power speed to enable you to do to open and run free applications at once. So again, it's so it's really easy. It, I mean. From a click of a button like that, I mean, I'm really impressed. All right, and no matter what you view, you know, you can go to a star or galaxy, and you just click Control One, Control One, easy as that. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this uh, video. All right, I hope you've gained a lot of um, information. But please feel free to ask us an astronomy for beginners on the official forum or the, the Facebook uh, forum as well. Um, also, please post some of your great images. We've been getting some fantastic uh, images so far. Um, you know, I'm actually quite astounded. And plus, we're up to 400 members. You know, 400 members, are, you know, that's fantastic. Thanks, guys, for your awesome support. And we will look forward to making uh, uh, another video guide. So please enjoy. So thanks very much for watching this video and goodbye.